Citronelle City Council recently voted to allow trick or treating and other Halloween activities, but they are cautioning everyone to keep social distancing in mind and to wear masks. Now, this decision sparking a lot of interest. Gabby Easterwood took to the streets of downtown Mobile to see what people think of Halloween amid the pandemic. She joins us now live with what residents had to say. Good evening, Gabby. Good evening, Amber, and that's right. Halloween is obviously a holiday that is treasured by many and spent time with family and friends, but this year it's definitely going to have to look a little bit different. We talked to people downtown today about just that. As we're nearing the spookiest day of the year, conversations are continuing on how Halloween fun can be done. It should be done as normal. Kids need to be able to go to house to house, trick or treat as normal. It's going to make sure that people use social distancing and masks and do it in a safe manner. So, I, I mean, I think people should celebrate and have as more a normal routine as they can while practicing safety. So, we ought to miss out. I think that if we possibly did something that was pre pre planned or pre made for the kids, maybe good, goodie bags for them to have. Uh, that way, the neighbors can kind of be creative to give them treats because we do know that kids can be carriers of this virus. When it comes to all of those mini ghouls and goblins, they have their thoughts too. I just really hope that there is trick or treating. It's like fun to hang out with my friends and go to different houses and just get candy. I'm going to be a witch. <laughs> The general response from those we spoke with, Halloween should be a go, but with safety precautions in place. For those that celebrate it, I say uh, be very precautious. Cold and flu season is on the brink too as well, so we've got to be very cognizant of that. So I definitely would say we can do it, but we have to just be creative. Now, other cities besides Centronel have not yet made any official announcement about their plans for Halloween, but we could expect that very soon, considering the holiday is only 20 days away. Reporting live in downtown Mobile, I'm Gabby Easterwood, WKRG News 5.